guys, Elle here from Windsor Skincare. So today is part one of the three part video series that we're doing on acne. So I thought acne is such a complicated topic, we get so many questions on it, that it would be nice to be do a real in depth three part series on what acne is and how you can treat it yourself at home. So first question is often, what is actually the acne? A lot of people think they do, they do have acne and that they say, I suffer with acne, but that's often a self diagnosis. Acne is a very specific skincare problem. A lot of people suffer with breakouts, which is just the odd breakout here and there. That might be a hormonal breakout at the time of the month. That might be if you use a product that's a bit strong or you use a really strong mask that you suddenly your skin breaks out a little bit, but that's very different to full blown acne. Acne is a skin condition, which basically means that you suffer with chronic breakouts. So no matter what the situation, whether it's time of the month, not time of the month, whether you're using um, strong skincare products, weak skincare products, your skin is breaking out. It's a chemical imbalance within your skin is what acne is. So what we always try and do is when you come into clinic, whether it's for a consultation in clinic or an online consultation, we try and establish whether you're suffering from the odd occasional breakout or whether you're suffering from acne itself. And that will affect the products that we um, recommend for you as well. Another thing that we always try and establish is what grade of acne you are. So there's grade one to four and grade four acne is what I would say is kind of beyond the health of a, a skin therapist. That is something that is you want to go down the route of Rakutane or Accutane or Isotretinoin. It's very, very advanced. I've, I've only met two or three clients over the years that have been grade four. It's extremely, extremely severe. It's often got to the point where there is no hope of sort of recovering without scarring or significant scarring. Um, it's quite advanced at that point. And that's often something internal as well. That's that's rarely just a bad skincare routine. That is, that's acne that's come up. It's kind, it needs like a medical intervention at that stage. So grade four is extremely severe. Like I say, very, very few people are grade four. The next level down from that is grade three. Now this is, I would say, I would say it's still severe. It's quite bad. You know, you've got a likelihood of suffering from scarring after you've recovered. You've got a mixture of of pustules and papules and blackheads as a real mixture of different breakouts going on and then also you have got ice pick scarring is what we call it and that's where we get those real deep indentations in the skin often there's a bit of picking involved in this stage there's a lot of inflammation involved at this stage as well so grade three acne um, we would be looking at definitely be looking at treatments as well as products at home um, we'd be looking at chemical peels we'd be looking at stronger grade products to really help target that what we would call it that infection the other thing that we probably would look at as well at that stage is supplements uh, because again that's probably more of an internal trigger that's going on there we might look at diet as well if you're a grade three really try and give it a, a holistic approach because obviously it's got to that stage because there is something more complicated going on than just hormones and, and maybe a bit of excess oil it is a little bit more complex at that stage now grade two is what I would say most of my clients that I see, they're, they're suffering from grade two acne. Grade two acne is, I would say, you are getting persistent breakouts. Um, they're always there, you know, no matter what time of the month, you've always got a couple of breakouts, but they are not as severe as in your grade three. There's maybe not that level of inflammation. There's maybe, they're not as angry. Maybe you haven't got a mixture of pustules and papules and blackheads. You, at this stage, I would be saying that you need to be on a good cleanser, good exfoliant, good on the spot treatment treatments, all of those kind of basics we'd have nailed down if you were at level two. And that is something that you're not as much risk from scarring as well. It's a lot more manageable at that stage. Grade one is kind of our lowest level. So that's if you're getting the odd breakout here and there. I probably suffer with what I call grade one acne. You know, the odd breakout comes up here and there. It's definitely concealable with makeup. I often know what I've done. You know, if I've had like a really cheesy pizza or I've had a really bad week with my diet, I know that I will see a couple of breakouts the next week. And that's what I'd call like a grade one kind of thing. You often know what you've done to cause that breakout. You know, if I've had a lot of chocolate at the weekend, I'll often have my grade one acne the following week kind of thing. So that one is definitely fixable it's more about you know knowing your triggers and thinking I'm gonna manage those and think well if I am having a cheesy pizza or lots of chocolates or I'm gonna go to the gym with my makeup on then I know that that is gonna cause me to have a breakout next week and also again getting down your basics a good cleanser a good moisturizer a sort of an on-the-spot treatment can be really really effective and often can get rid of it completely if you've got a good topical treatment then that can really help to sort out your grade one acne so the other thing that we're going to cover in this part one of the video is cleansing. Now, this the reason that this is in part one is because for me personally, it's the most important thing you can do 
to help clear your skin up. So cleansing is the basis of any good skincare routine, but if you do suffer with acne, it's the most important part of your routine. So I would say, first of all, you wanna think about investing in an oil cleanser, which may seem a bit counterintuitive. You know, you may be thinking, no matter what grade of acne you are, you may be thinking, well, if I'm a grade four um, and I've got really oily skin, why am I introducing more oil? You may think if you're a grade one, um, I actually got a couple of little whiteheads. I don't need to be putting more oil in here. This is not gonna work. But oil attracts oil. In the same way as if you put olive oil and vinegar into a little bowl, you'll notice that they separate. Um, and that's because you've got hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecules. Now your hydrophobic molecules think phobic, phobia kind of thing. They're really scared of water, so they're running away from the water. And hydrophobic molecules are oil. Now, your hydrophilic uh, molecules love water. They are real water babies. They absolutely love it. They're going to bond with water um, and they're going to they're going to basically click on together. So you're never going to get these two types of molecules being friends. No matter how much you mix that olive oil and the balsamic vinegar, they're never going to mix together. They always separate. And it's the same with your skin. If you're putting on a water based cleanser to remove that oil, the two are never going to mix. They're never going to like each other. They're always going to repel against each other. So you're never going to get completely clean skin. Whereas if you put an oil onto the skin, all the oil in your skin is going to go, oh, we quite like that. And we you attach on. And then when you cleanse it away, off it goes kind of thing. So the product that I would recommend mainly for that is the pre-cleanse oil. There are other oil cleansers out there. I've never found one that performs as well as the pre-cleanse. I've used it myself for many, many years. I have a huge one in my bathroom. Here it is, um, my huge, huge pre-cleanse. But this one lasts me for ages. But it is borage seed oil. It's absolutely gorgeous. It smells incredible. And it's just really, really gentle on the skin. So even if your skin is very inflamed and very sensitive and very sore, unless you have a nut allergy, you can always, always use the pre-cleanse oil. And if you do have a nut allergy, they do a pre-cleanse balm, which is oil, uh, nut oil free. So there's always alternatives, but this is the best one I found for removing makeup completely from the skin and then also keeping the skin very, very clean in terms of oil as well. The next step in your cleansing routine is going to be a gel cleanser. Now, there's a couple of different points of view out there that there is gel cleansers and foaming cleansers and all sorts of things. And different people say different things in terms of which is the best one for acne. I would say personally, a foam cleanser is going to have lots of SLS in it. Now that is basically, I would say it's like a surfactant. It's going to make sure everything's really bubbly and lots of bubbles and lots of lots of surfactants to make it very soapy kind of thing. Now that SLS is actually very, very irritating for your skin. So if you've got your grade three, your grade four acne and you're using SLS on it, it's only going to increase that inflammation. So you really want to be using something that is SLS free, so less bubbles. And often that means foaming cleansers are out the picture because in order to bubble like that, they need the SLS. So I would always say a gel cleanser is going to be your best bet. It's very gentle, it's very mild, and it's also going to keep the skin really, really clean. And combining it with something like the oil, um, like pre-cleanse, use the oil first and the special cleansing gel or any kind of gel cleanser afterwards, you're really going to feel the skin being significantly cleaner. Now, that's what I would call your pre-cleanse and your special cleansing gel. That is what we call a double cleanse routine. So that is vital in terms of treating acne. Having that double cleanse routine is the most important thing. Using one cleanser is just not going to clean your skin enough. You need to be using a double cleanse routine in order to get the best results. The first cleanse is removing the makeup, the dirt, the oil, the pollution. All of those things are sitting on your skin, clogging your pores. The second cleanse is what's cleaning your skin. That is making the difference. That is making sure it's getting into your pores, cleaning out that oil, cleaning out the sebum, really making sure that we get the best results um, in terms of the products that we lay on afterwards as well. So I hope you guys found that um, interesting. That's the end of part one for us. Um, we're going to go on to part two now, which is all about exfoliation and how you can use that to really help to start targeting your acne um, and really making sure that you get the best results from that. I will see you guys um, next time and head on down to part two to see the next part. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.